Hey y'all. So I'm here today to show you guys how I did this look. It's like a quick, quick, quick snatch that you can do for work or whatever. This is like an everyday makeup look if you want to be glam. Like it's a full face of makeup. It's not just like a natural, no makeup, makeup look. If I want like my makeup on, this is what I will do. So if you want to see this look, just keep watching. I'm not gonna tell you how many minutes it's gonna take me because every time you say it's a 10 minute, it's never 10 minutes, it's 20 at least. So I'm not putting a timer on myself. I'm just gonna say this is a quick makeup, but let's not get this twisted. This is not like a quick, natural, like no makeup makeup look. This is like, no, I wanna look glam, but I'm trying to be quick. Like I wanna be snatched still, so. And I haven't done my makeup in like, mm, like one closer to two months. So this is going to be interesting because I feel like I forgot how to do makeup. So let's get started. Also, I'm addressing my nails now so nobody else has to address it. It's quarantine, okay? Like most of them look all right. Like they're all right. Moving on. So I'm going to start with curling my eyelashes which is probably a stupid first step because I feel like they go down by the time you start anyway, but my lash lift is like about out and I just need to see, you know what I mean? Like how people brush their brows up. I need my lashes curled just to get the vibe going. I also tried to film a video trying magnetic lashes. Yeah, that was a that was a fail, so I'm not even, we're not even gonna. So I'm going to be using the Dior Face and Body Foundation, which is my favorite foundation. I believe it's the best one ever made. It makes you just look so naturally just radiant. It's not a dewy foundation, it's more of a demi-matte, like, it just looks like skin to me. It's made to, they made it for like runway, so you look like natural skin under like bright lighting, like stage lights. So I just love it. It looks natural at any time of day, daytime, nighttime. It's just the best. And the best part about it is it's so lightweight. It doesn't make you feel disgusting. Like you have foundation all over your face, which I hate. Like this is the only foundation I will wear. If I'm not wearing this, I said it. If I'm not wearing this, it's nothing, I'm sorry. It's kind of a lie because I do have other products, but this is the one, so. Okay, I'm usually shade three and a half, but since I'm a little bit tanner, I'm gonna use three and a half and four. My lights kind of wash me out a little bit, but I am pretty dark. I also like the packaging of these bottles because it's not, they're just plastic or whatever this is, so you don't have to worry about breaking them. So I'm just going to use, I'm using this IT Cosmetics, the Complexion Perfection Brush. You can already tell this little bang. It's going to get annoying. Now I am going to do concealer. I'm gonna mix two concealers. I have the NARS Radiant Creamy in Biscuit and um, Macadamia. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of, I don't know if this will be too dark. That looks good. I'm gonna use a little bit just like that to Conceal. I have really bad dark circles, especially today because I haven't drank like any water. Wow, y'all, I haven't done my makeup in so long. I'm like, dang, my skin though. I don't have to chew my own horn, but I'm telling you, it's this foundation. 
Okay, I'm gonna use the lighter one. This might be a little too light. I'll probably mix them. And you do right inside. Okay, that was too light. So this needs to like come off my eyes, so I do not. A lot of people like to put concealer on their eyelids. I do not like that look for me. Okay, that just messed me all up. I'm gonna use a little bit of my darker one because I feel like that did not. Okay, that's enough for now, because I actually don't love how that concealer looks, so we're going to move on. Okay, I'm going to use the Fenty Cream Bronzer. I know it's messy, but you know what? It's a cream. This is in the shade um, Honey Glaze. What do I say about this bang? Just putting some. On my cheekbones. And some on my nose. Now I'm going to take the Fenty Cream Blush in Rosé Latte. You can use a brush for this if you want to. I just find it easy to blend with um, my fingers. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose. Part of the reason I did not set my concealer yet is because I like to build with these cream products. And if you set your concealer before you do all this, sometimes the whole, um, like the textures can get thrown off and it doesn't go together. So I like to powder towards the end. So I'm just gonna go back in with my foundation brush and just kind of Melt everything together. And then you could just leave it um, just the cream like this, which I usually do, but just for this video, I'm just gonna put, I'm just gonna set it. So you don't always need to set it if you want that like fresh look, but if you want this to last all day, you have to set your stuff, so. I'm just going to put a little bit of bronzer on. Actually, before I put any more powder on, I'm going to put a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. I'm just going to put a little bit as highlighter. Why do I feel like whatever I did with the concealer made my nose look bigger? Hold on. Come on, Tiff. I did not know you were in here. I'm so nervous. I'm just going to put... This is the Becca Capri Coast Sunlit Bronzer. It's just like a nice bronze color. It's nothing crazy. I'm not 
really like using contour or anything. So now I'm just going to brush through my brows. I barely do anything to my brows, if anything, most of the time. Because they're so, like, they're fine on their own. But I am just going to fix this one little area. This is the Anastasia Brow Wiz in, uh, I want to say dark brown. Medium brown. I just like to do a little so it matches. Kind of over like the thick brow trend, which I know everybody loves, but I'm just not really into it. I just kind of use, leave my brows natural, but I've actually been making them just a little bit thinner. I don't know, I like it. So, okay, so the face is pretty much done. I'm gonna set the blush actually too. I'm gonna use the SNARS palette. I haven't used this stuff. Actually, no, I lied. I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild first. This is a really good blush color, especially for summer. I just think it's so pretty and like that natural blush that you would get. Okay, now we're just gonna go into set. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Air blush, air blush, air brush, flawless, whatever. What's it called? Fall air blush. Oh my gosh! Just look it up. I can't say it. <laughs> okay. If you are on the oily side, you can set your whole face, but um. I guess I kind of am with this little brush, but I just kind of get wherever is shiny, kind of tone it down a little bit. I love this powder because it really just does put a little filter on your face. Now for eyes, we're going to go in with the bronzer that we used. We're just going to put that on our eyes. MAC Cork, which I know is a lip liner, but I like to use it as eyeliner because I find it like blends a little bit better. Okay, so I'm just doing baby wings and then just kind of blending it with the brush. I found that my favorite way to do eyeliner is actually using like the classic pencils and then just using an eyeliner brush like for the precision. I just find it so much easier than liquid and I think that it looks better on me. It looks better on me. On other people sometimes, you know. I don't know where I was going with that. I just meant on me, it looks better. I don't like myself with a very harsh, like black eyeliner. I like more of a brown. So now I'm just gonna use this NARS Climax mascara. If my eyelashes look a little crazy, it's because um, I had a lash lift done a while ago, and as the lash lift kind of um, 
grows out. Some of your lashes are really lifted and my natural lashes are so straight. So it kind of looks a little crazy when it's like cycling out because they look wonky. Okay, last thing is lips and I'm just going to do Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Noon. pretty much the color of my lips it's kind of light I'm just gonna use a little bit of um this is actually my first time trying the iconic nude it's really pretty that's pretty it's a little too pink for me to wear on its own I'm just gonna use a little bit of NYX um nude truffle Ooh, you can tell this lip liner is like long wearing though, which I love. Has that like dryish, almost sticky, but in a good way texture. Okay guys, so it has been 21 minutes probably going to be a little less than that in the video because I'm, you know, like to chop it up and not make you sit through when I do things like this and can't finish a sentence. So that was my quick everyday, this is like what I do for work and stuff, everyday snatch. You could do a little bit more if you wanted to, like you could add a little more contour, um, you know. There are ways that you could make this more glam or less glam, but this is like an everyday makeup look pretty much. So I hope you guys liked this little video. If you did, let me know. I want to video myself using the Dyson Airwrap for the first time, so if you want to see that, let me know and yeah I'm pretty impressed with myself for this being the first time doing my makeup in months so all right I hope you guys have the a great rest of quarantine hopefully this will be over soon and I hope you're staying healthy and safe and be smart out there